scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey, everybody! Welcome to an all new Trenny and C. He's Trenny, I'm C, and this is Dr. D. And uh, today we have the Northern Border Collection. Yes. So thank you for join, joining awesome. us. Yes. I think awesome. by now, uh, the people watching our channel know who you are, so we won't make you continue to introduce yourself over and over again. You are the master blender. But we will add oh. in some crowd cheers here. Yeah. Like, you got side effects? I don't oh, know that. Yeah, yeah, we have great effects. Uh, yeah. yes. <laughs> this is a high tech <laughs> channel. Yeah. Whatever comes with iMovie. <laughs> the base model. Okay. Do we see balloons going? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Only on your birthday. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so we have the four models from the Northern Border Collection and uh, the award winning Northern Border Collection. Yes. Yes. Uh, I mean, all these. Look at that bird wave. Wow. Look at that. Sorry. Don't break them. They're not right ours. Right. Sorry. Yes. You can't afford them. Uh, the Northern Border Collection, it's, I love working on these every year. Uh, and we start working on them probably a year, year and a half out, what we want to do with each of them. It's fantastic to play with Canadian whiskey. I always say it's the most innovative category there is, and these four here are very different from one another. And I've done some very interesting things with these whiskeys here, and I love it. And you have a little bit of whiskey to play with? Just a little bit. Yeah. And there's 1.6 million barrels uh, sitting in. barrels, okay. It's the size of 132 hockey rinks. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of whiskey. That's, That's a, a lot, lot of whiskey. whiskey. Yeah, it's, it's whiskey. interestingly enough, if you actually look at it, a little tidbit of information. In Canada, one whiskey barrel is worth $1,000 worth of tax. That's a lot of tax. Okay. okay. So 1.6 million times 1,000. Is it 10% tax everywhere in Canada or just in Ontario? Uh, the tax rate is, tax? For, for spirits is up to 86%. Okay. But I guess uh, what my, my point is, is right? we get audited oh. by the government once a quarter to make sure every whiskey barrel is there. Wow. If not, we have to pay wow. the tax. Yeah. So there's $1.6 billion of excise tax sitting in our warehouses. Holy shnikes. You, you can't, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and, you can, and then if you add in oh. all, our, all our other uh, whiskey competitors that we do, there's a lot of excise tax sitting in warehouses across Canada. Very wow. important. That's how Canada to our keeps economy. the lights on. Absolutely. <laughs> Pave the roads. Yeah. I, I keep saying they... These they, roads are paved with whiskey. The whiskey barren should be on our, our $5 bill, $10 yeah, bill. The They're bear. looking for somebody to put on the new five. Yeah. Well, I suggested Gord oh. Downey, but... JP no, Weiser, JP. Hiram Walker, we could put all Dr. the whiskey Don. barons. Dr. Dorn, right? Another whiskey baron. Tiny and C. I'm just trying to promote uh, the whiskey. Uh, how, we, we paid the taxes for yes. 50 yeah. years in Canada. Absolutely. That's fair. Uh, That's great. Uh, really. Uh, often, I'll, I'll do one more tidbit when we'll get into the whiskeys here, but in, in 2017, we celebrated an anniversary in Canada. What was it? The centennial. Uh, the end of World War I. <laughs> 100 years. You're very close to that, though. We, ce we celebrated it in 1917, 100 years. Yeah. That was the first time Canadians were ever taxed. Oh, wow. I should we're, know that. We're 50 years a country before Canadians paid taxes. So how did wow. the Canadian government survive? Whiskey. Yeah, absolutely. Canada. <laughs> yes. Good guess. Yes. <laughs> Canada was built on whiskey. I love right. that. The, fi right. the five largest whiskey, uh, ta or the taxpayers in Canada in the 1800s, uh, Gooderham and Warts was number one. Right. Hiram Walker was number two. Weisers was three. Corby was four. Seagrams was five. Wow. wow. Canada was built on the whiskey producers. They're almost that all right here. There's my argument for the $10 bill right They're there. They're almost <laughs> all right here. <laughs> Love yes. it. So, speaking of which, should we try Let's, the Gooderham and Warts? Great segue. Let's start Mr. with the, the, the original taxpayer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or yeah. non-taxpayer. And uh, here we go. Oh, oh beauty. great pop. Yes. It's been a great night for pops. It has been. <laughs> Well, this is Gooderham and Warts. If you look at the front label, uh, anyone from Toronto would certainly recognize the, the building on the front. That's the Flatiron Building in Toronto. Um, and it was important to the industries of Gooderham and Warts. Very iconic, very iconic building. It's that triangular shaped building made of red brick. So the theme that was given to me from our marketing department is we want you to do something around Gooderham. And it is a classic red brick building certainly of that era. So I built on the theme red. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, hence, hence yeah, the point. red winter wheat. The red winter mm. wheat was one of the themes of that. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you that. have a bottle up and behind us. We've got, we've got a bottle. Yeah. No, 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 no. I was trying to think of, 
Do you remember the brand JP Weiser's Red Letter? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's, that predates yeah. us slightly, I think. Predates it. Predates the... Trenny and C. So, so do I have to ask for your age of a dad? Yes, from legal drinking age. This says JP Weiser's Red Letter, and here that was a 19 year. Oh, okay, and that's 19, 19 year? Because this 19. is 19 years old. It's a 19 year old one. Oh. Yeah. So it's got Red Winter Wheat, JP Weiser's Red Letter makes up part of this. Uh, and the other thing is I've used, remember we talked about inserts inside of yep. barrels? Yep. So we use red oak. Oh, oh interesting. And okay. I find red oak inserts gives you an interesting cedary, cedar. Yeah. You know, yeah it yeah. reminds me of British Columbia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, walking, walking through the forest and everything that so gives you that cedar note to this whiskey. A absolute gorgeous whiskey. The other thing we want to talk about why it's called 49 Wellington because that's the address of that flat iron building. Ah, okay, great. And that's where that comes from. And is that the last year's 11 souls? Was that 49% too, I think? Uh, no, it was 48, 48, 49, 48. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49%. 49
Probably about the same thing, just not on film. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have you YouTube. You were just starting out. out. Yeah. You were just starting just out. Starting out. <laughs> um, what was I even thinking? What was I going to say? You were talking about the age of it, the 19 years. Oh, yeah. That. So, like, do you... Is there a certain level of, like, barrel char that you prefer to use? I, I love two millimeter of burn in a barrel because that maximizes your vanilla caramel toffee. I mm-hmm. know off camera we were talking about even those cotton candy, uh, yeah. bubble gum notes. That's a compound called Maltol. Should mm-hmm. be prevalent in good quality whiskeys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My GC uh, that I use to measure Maltol lights up like a Christmas tree uh, when oh. uh, when we measure something like that, mm-hmm. especially in brandy barrels. Interesting. Cool. Very cool. Very complex. Uh, won the silver medal here at the uh, Canadian Whiskey Awards. Mm, my initial Fair thoughts nice. are it deserves gold. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Trinity gold. Gold. gold already. <laughs> Double gold. That's a lot of golds we're giving out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so we'll move on to the next one. We're... So, the cast strength lot 40. Oh, uh, man. Yes. Oh. To be honest with you, this is my favorite release of the cast strength we have done. I've, <laughs> I've known... That, of the uh, lot forties, of the lot forties, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Um, I know a lot of people want to see the age statement on this one. We yeah. took it off this year, just because we wanted to just try something different. These are limited releases. I keep going back to the blending one hundred and one that I do with my uh, consumers that people will pay for. So when I line things up, I actually track uh, what people are doing. The most popular ingredient in two thousand eighteen for my blending one hundred and one was Cast Strength Lot 40 aged in French oak. I believe oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. They <laughs> just said, oh my God, why aren't you bottling this? So we listened. Yeah. We listened. We actually put the Cast Strength Lot 40 that's been aged in French oak into this whiskey here because wow. that's what the consumers were wanting. And yeah. uh, I think that's one of the big things about a master blender is listening to what people want. I'm encouraged to see feedback on this one, but I, I think rye is so spicy. It just goes over what age declarations are. So that's yeah, that's a good point. Our, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. our American viewership, which is a, a large portion of our channel, yeah. um, are desperate for this bottle. And they, it's going into the US. 50 cases. Whoa, 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 whoa. 50 okay, cases. Listen up, people. <laughs> 50 <laughs> cases. It's going to be split between two states. The yeah. biggest challenge is labeling, right? Between states. Oh, okay. Okay, so... What we are doing is launching 25 cases into Massachusetts and 25 oh. into Illinois. And we should see it around February, March 2020. Hmm. Oh, Can wow. I ask why those states? Uh, we've partnered with some good partners of ours that uh, runs uh, some of the liquor stores there. Like mm-hmm. distribution type thing? Distribution. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Julio's Liquor Store in, in uh, Boston and uh, hmm. in um, uh, Binnie's in the, in the wow. Illinois. Wow. So you pay attention, people. Yeah, so I, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be going into those markets at those points of those people I, and doing a taste. I think that 2020? And um, mid, February. Early for February. So oh, this, is, this is going to be like the, the clickbait thumbnail on this video is going to be like lot 40 cast strength now goes to the US. the US. You know, yeah. Find now, which finally, yeah. yeah like yeah, that, that'll be is. a click. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, and, then, and then most people are going to be pissed off because they don't live in Massachusetts. Or like, well, well, this, okay. yeah, but it, it, <laughs> but what we what we want to see it's test and learn. If oh, the yeah. French Oak Lot Forty is one of those things that they like in those states, hey, who knows what next year? You know what's going to happen is this is going to end up like Buffalo Trace. It's going to be like allocation secondary market, like six hundred dollars a bottle well, kind of thing. To be totally honest, we do a lot of uh, live streams with our audience and. We'll occasionally do sample giveaways, giveaways and things like that. And sometimes we'll put it to a vote of what they want to try. Sure. Because a lot of the American audience has never tried any of this stuff. And yeah. we always get, do you have any more of that? Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 yeah. and like I said, because we put it in into the, the we went from American oak to, to French oak, this is probably the most complex whiskey we've ever made. Wow. On that note, pop it. Here. Yeah. I'll, uh, oh, we haven't even popped it yet. Here we go. Yeah, it, 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 there we go. It's it is probably the most complex. I know people think age equals quality. That is not the case when you're talking rye whiskeys because rye and quality barrels will just overwhelm the athlacity green apple note. This this lights like I said like GC up like a Christmas tree. Yeah, okay. Oh, and it is is a phenomenal whiskey. It's one of my favorite whiskeys uh, that I adore. So it's at fifty seven point zero percent ABV. Beautiful. And, and I know it's point zero, and you think you're diluting it to point. No, it, it happened just to work. Oh, okay. do you know what? 
also the packaging of it just looks great. I love yeah. the like kind of the, the raised, copper, right? the raised copper there. Certainly with lot forty, Whoa. copper pot distilled is one of the things we want to drive home with this whiskey. I always the think nose of like, is just huge. Oh, I love the nose. I always think of like cinnamon raisin when I and uh, cinnamon is cinnamon aldehyde, which comes from those French oak casks. Mm. But and like raisin to me as well, like so there's something. Cool. Like, there's something. Uh, it's so fruity too. Like it's just so. But there's nice. the like literal like rye bread. Like of course, raising yeah. rye yeah. bread. Mm-hmm. And, and when I bring my nose to it, it's just something different every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just something different. It's one time. that you can really dig into and spend some you can time. Spend with. a lot of time on that. That's nice. It's it, like I said. It's probably it's probably the most analytically whiskey that we've ever made. Uh, quite honestly, and it, it's one. It's my favorite out of the three that we made. And like I said, I don't think age means quality. This is about bringing the best of the best together. There's something a little yeah. bit tobacco-y about it as well. Like I, I always think about that uh, red man, like, like the, the pouch, pouch uh, of the, of the yeah, raw yes, yes. tobacco leaves. You know what I mean? That, that's coming from your eye. Yeah. Oh man, that smells that so nice. good. That is I never was like... into the tobacco except like to smell it. It always smelled so good. What did this one get at the awards? Silver. Silver. Got a silver. Yeah, Another yeah. mistake on up, their part. It's, it's a <laughs> also also a Trenian seagull. <laughs> You got to make some medals with the the Jenny and C logo. (laughs) We don't have that kind of budget. (laughs) Cheers, guys. I know there's a lot going. You can sniff sniff this all day. Okay, let's taste it. Oh, Oh, yeah. yeah. (laughs) You know what? There's something about Lot 40 that, like, Mm -hmm. instantly, it's that, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, like, there's everything else has been fantastic. And then Lot 40 is just, oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's... Like you said, so the Northern Border Collection, they're all completely different. Yeah. And th- mm-hmm. this one k- kind of stands out as being specifically different. There's, mm-hmm. It's 100% rye. I mean, I mean the it rye is, is still... Yeah. I'll, I'll sit here for the next five minutes and still feel the rye yeah. going through my chest. Nice. Oh, yeah. And the, the French oak gives you that vanilla. But it, French oak is notoriously Smell it again, known. too. Smell it again after you've tasted it. Like, it just even... Well, actually, the sweetness comes out a little bit more on the nose after you've yeah. had a sip. It's, I'm getting that nice wow. green apple oh, notes wow. on that one. Mm. And Absolutely so gorgeous. for the barrels that you're using, did we talk about this? The French oak. The f- French oak. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying- I can talk about French oak. I mean, the, the French oak is, to get them in North America, is very expensive. Mm. So um, is that a uh, virgin oak as Virgin well? oak, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that, nothing's that's, been in that barrel before. Nothing's yeah. been in that barrel other than Lot 40. Mm. Wow. I don't know what I'm going to use the second round of barrels for yet. Uh, I know I, I filled it up with rye again. I don't know what it'll ultimately okay. we'll, we'll get into, but yeah, interesting. Sea small batch or whatever, but it's tra- <laughs> it's a trendy and sea small batch. Everything kind Why of circles back that? to that. Everything is, is this back. what we got to do? <laughs> That's yeah, exactly what we got to do. It's a beautiful label. You really just have to tape that on there. Yeah, <laughs> we've, got, we've got a product. We'll let you take care of being sued by the MLB. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So far, we've been okay, but I think you'll have some problems with that. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Oh, wow. This is That's really so nice. That's good. Great. And I don't want to say it, because maybe it's offensive to people, but it has a bit of that like bubble gum powder. But it, it should be there. That's a great thing. Yeah. It should be there. I love that. Mm-hmm. And it's called oh, Maltol. Don't. If you want to call it Maltol, you don't have to say bubble we, gum. We anymore. won't remember that. <laughs> Maltol. <laughs> Maltol. But that, that divine... Maltol cocktail. <laughs> the Molotov cocktail. <laughs> Mm. Hey, that's Beautiful. a cocktail idea. <laughs> there you go. The Mol- hey, that's <laughs> like your, uh, Molotov cocktail. The Molotov cocktail. The Molotov Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, that's fire. yeah. Okay. That's that's an absolutely gorgeous whiskey, and oh, we're wow. certainly we're, we're proud of it at uh, at uh, Hiram Walker and the Corby <clears throat> Corby wow. team. Yeah, that's uh, good. And it's got together. it leaves. What's the percentage on there again? Sorry, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Yeah, the, that's so good. It's not a heat at the end. It doesn't it's taste a, like it's 57. a spice. No, it's a, exactly. Yeah, it lingers, which is. A but nice like you said, to it. there's a warming effect, and it's just like it's just so pleasant. Yeah, from and back. and I would I'd love to read the comments on the on my American friends and what they'll they'll get that in the Massachusetts in oh, Illinois. Oh God, they're gonna be flipping out. We'll have to. Uh, <laughs> we we talk to them on a regular so basis. They, and they're... Uh, get the heads up. Like, yeah. is that uh, is that out there right now? Do people know that this they is know coming? it's coming? But we're we're still working through the uh, regulatory. But uh, all all things going ahead, it should be should be in around that springtime period. Mm, That's cool. a big deal. Yeah. That's a big deal. Huge deal. Huge deal. And, and if it upticks and we see see uh, some momentum around in the U.S., who knows what next year will bring? 
So you that means that we need to collection. buy a case for ourselves yes, because, exactly. you know, it's going to take Things, over. yeah, expand once they hit the States. Yeah. Yeah. So are you, well. are any of these other guys uh, being released in the States? Uh, no. 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 Okay. no this Keep is it only, to the northern border. Yeah. Uh, I like that. At this point. But uh, what we're seeing with Canadians, I'm talking about the other ones. I mean, who knows? Who knows? I mean, uh, I think there's some certain, certainly potential. Um and I think this is where we got to do it with Canadian whiskey. Keep talking about the quality and the good stuff we make here. And you know, I think in the states they get a lot of um, a lot of the house blends from the different distilleries, but they don't get the higher level the stuff, right? So you know, like their impression of Canadian whiskey is that it's a it's a mixer or it's you know yeah. some yeah. Yeah. you know some cheap stuff to, and to reality, get it. Like well, I think a lot of consumers, whiskey is a mixable thing. Mm -hmm. for, for a lot of consumers. Yeah, I, and uh, and it is. I mean, it has yeah. their occasion. And whiskey's perfectly fine to mix. Perfectly fine to mix. Yeah. For those on keto, mix it with Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Are we ready for number three? Let's, yes, let's, let's do it. Move along. Okay, I think we're ready here. Yeah. So, um, so you've been at the distillery for 23 years. Yes. Wait, this is 23 years old. Funny. Wait how a that second. Works. <laughs> what the? <laughs> yes, so I started in the distillery in 1996, and this batch of whiskey was the year I started. Very cool. How is that cool why is that? you released it at the 23 year age? Um, that and, and availability of spirit as well. Okay. Um, that, that's the other thing like this. I'd love to do a 35 year for all those people out there, but I mean, there's so little bit of that. So we did the next best thing here as a 23 year. The cool thing about this one is, you know, when we make whiskey, you guys are into blending, and we've we've talked about we're, it a little bit. Right? We're getting close we're to mass. Quite into blending. You're, 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 yeah. We're mages, so you level about, seven mages. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So when we make cast strength whiskey, mm -hmm. usually it comes from a single distillate. Okay. So the distiller Nor comes normally, off a pot yeah, still, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, comes yeah. off a pot still, yeah. or column still, yeah. put in a barrel, you drink it, yeah. and you've, you've had all kinds of cast iron whiskey. Yeah, sure. What happens when you do a column still, and then you do a pot still of all of different strength, and you blend it together, mm. what do you call that? A cask strength blend yes you read the label i know yeah, yeah. <laughs> i like to get i like to get the answers right once in a while okay i gave you the honorary degree blended, maybe i should have given it to blended you blended casks right? well what do you call well on, i i asked a lot of the writers and educational people in the industries and they said well that's good good question because i don't know if we've ever seen that before right usually a cast strength <clears throat> comes from a single type of distillate Sure. Mm -hmm. When you mix a distillate. So for our double distilled light whiskey that you call Wiserish. Yeah. Right? You call Wiserish. Wiserie. Wiserie. Let's get it. Wiserie. We've occasionally said Wiserish, but yeah. <laughs> um, that comes off our still at 76%. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Usually after 23 years of aging, it's probably going to be in the high 60s because we lose strength. But when we do a, a, a column distilled rye, mm -hmm. it comes off our still at 58, 58%. Mm. Oh. So when you put 68, 58 together, what do you get? Probably in between there. Yeah, and that's what it is. 64.1. <laughs> yes, yeah, 64.3. My guess is off. And that's what my we've math got. Is oh, a little, my <laughs> instant math is a loss. <laughs> so it is a cast strength blend, an original, a one of its a kind. I know the audience out there has labeled this as one of the most phenomenal mm. whiskeys they've ever had. I think it was the best Canadian whiskey ever, is what we Like of all time in history. Of all time, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Since even before they were taxing it. Yeah. <laughs> The tax, yeah. yeah. We are very proud of this one, of what we put together. I think I think it's you're going to probably see similar things next year. How would I throw uh, that well, hint out at Trini and C? So. Oh, so one of the <laughs> comments that, on our channel. One of sorry. the comments that we got was, "Don't be fooled by because last year was the 35 yeah, year old. Yeah. Don't be fooled. Twenty three years old is not a lesser." <laughs> Yeah, you're not getting a lesser product because, because it's 12 it's like, years younger. Yeah, it, and it's very true. We've tried this one, and so we can stand by that, that it is... Oh, don't I, you want to try it again? I, I'd love to try it again. Let's open <laughs> okay. this. Uh, sometimes, Twist that arm. Yeah. Sometimes when C asks me... Hold on. Oh! oh did I soak you guys, too? Sorry. <laughs> that, it wouldn't be a whiskey tasting less or a spillage. Yeah. Yes, that's it's a, a party foul, I believe they call that. Yeah, yeah. One, one for our homies. Yeah. <laughs> um, sometimes when I'm uh, at C's house and he asks me what I'd like to have 
I say something Canadian anywhere between 22 and 24 years old. Yeah. Casting. <laughs> it's very limited, you know, what you can pour on that So you're telling me there's no other 23s out there? As far well, as we know, not in our collection. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking to expand your collection, yeah. are you? Uh, yeah, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Certainly at higher strength, you're going to get more wood and grain mm. character coming out, and you should with this one. Oh, so this one has... It, well, we, we'll forgive you. It is wiser-ish. Yeah, it yeah. is wiser-ish. Yeah, not right. wiser -y. No. And uh, it, it's um, somewhat yeasty as well, yeah. which is... Oh. Man, I love the nose on this it one. It has that 11 souls yeastiness to it. And it should. And it definitely should. But do you know what? 64.3%. And you've got a nose on you. Oh, you can dig that out. in there and it's nothing. Nothing. Like you're not getting burnt. Nothing. You know? No, but oh, that, that, that's what tells you when you use good quality barrels and oh, good quality delicious. grains, you're not going to get that harsh. Yeah. You called it a harshness. I call yeah, it, it, it is. Yeah. It's a harshness when it's. But when it hits sometimes, you know, whiskeys that are rushed and whatever, you get that heat first when it's that strength. And mm -hmm. for me, I like, I'm in the. Over top of everything, you're getting those caramels and those toffees and, and the woodiness and the woody, and the woody and, like, oh, You man, know what I call it? Heat. Delicious. I call it zesty. Zesty. He says zesty all the time. Zesty. That's mm. what I call high. I'll call. I'll use the word zesty. Yeah. Okay. If I enjoy like tasting yeah. notes. It's a little zesty. Okay. That's good. Uh, yeah. But th this one for sixty four three, which is phenomenal. Uh, when we were pre-tasting with this people, with people, we we're just taking cast strength. We got as high as sixty-eight on some of them, and got as low as sixty-two. Because casks will vary. Sure, I mean, right. where, where we're located in southern Ontario, we do lose strength because of our humidity. Mm -hmm. In areas that are, are high humidity, you lose strength in a cask. But in areas that are, are very arid and dry, it'll go up in strength. Right. Hmm. Okay. That 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 is the case. I know a few distilleries that are in dry areas they'll go up, but most of us that are located like in the North Alberta's, areas, for example, Alberta will go up. Yeah. Um, uh, you, you get in Utah, you know mm -hmm. who's in Utah, who's out there, mm -hmm. they'll they'll go up. Yeah. Uh, but I mean here uh, in in Ontario, and I'm sure I would think in Vancouver, Victoria, yeah. they should go down yeah. because of humidity here. So then uh, you like to hide Easter eggs in your in your things. Um, is that sixty four point three percent? No, it just ended up being <laughs> that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, right. Well, no. Sorry. Well, if I had an Easter egg for that, that means I adjusted the strength of water. Strength right. of water? He, no, no, no. With water. Oh, we say he okay. can't have an Easter egg for it because right, right. it's, it's cast strength. It is what it is. Right. Yeah, that's right. You can't manipulate. Is. We'll no. make one up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, six four three. I don't know who's your yeah, code. Is. Six four yeah, three. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's built for you, South Las Vegas. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. Yeah. Cheers. Shall we cheers? cheers yeah. Oh, that nose on this again. I, oh, we've said it already, but we've one of I think our favorites of the year so far. I think uh, you nailed it mm. when you said at the beginning that each one of these is so dramatically different. But like so amazing, but so different. Like we just tasted this, you know, this rye that was strength, yeah. absolutely fantastic. And now we're moving on to the 23 year old that's absolutely fantastic, uh, I, I, but in a, just a different way, right? It's a different animal. I, you, you wouldn't peg them, you know? As no, you, like, yeah, if you tried really them all blind, you'd yeah. be like, oh, these are obviously different distilleries. Yeah, so what, what, what you're saying is when you mentioned the comment, the 35 year and 23 year, don't be fooled. Yeah. But you know what it is? The effect of the, the cash strength is propping up that perception of age. Right. Mm. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though, that, that's why I really... Because you can have a young whiskey and put it at cash strength and people and you, might assume... Yeah. This, well, it's a little older than what you really right. think it yeah. is. That's the things that blenders do, right? I mean, yeah. you can pop the strength up. It gives well, you a little bit of that perception, right? And in reality, like mm -hmm. I think one thing that's very cool about the whisk, the Canadian whiskey market is we are starting to see things in in cast strength and age statements and things like that because a lot, of, you know, years past, you didn't see that as much. You didn't expect kind of like a the contract of what's in the bottle. That's on right. a label. The consumer must have changed, right? Yeah, and, and, and the consumers wanting cash strength. Right. That's why we do this. And, one and they want the, the. Yeah, and, 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 may, and maybe, maybe the reason they want cash strength because they, maybe they want that feeling of that age. You know, maybe yeah. there's a little bit of that behind it. I I've know. heard people say so they can water it to 40% and their whiskey lasts longer. I don't think that actually happens. <laughs> that's a bad reason. That's, that's, a, that's a bad reason to buy cash strength whiskey. It's never <laughs> happened. I guarantee you. 
No, I, I, when I, I like to try my whiskeys the way they are. I don't, I'm not one that adds water to it. Maybe mm-hmm. ice cubes and let it melt. See, but. I'm not as well. I, I like to think of it as like that's the way that the, the distiller or the blender intended. And that, right? They, they and intended that's it what that I way. intend. So if I tinker with it, not, I'm making it the way I intended. That's right. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's like people are like, we why want you to be add- a blender though. Sure, <laughs> sure, but a, not a waterer. <laughs> a waterer. Master waterer? You, you, am I the master waterer? I don't think so. No, I, I, it, it, this is a it's fantastic. Very prestigious. We're going to need a new water trophy. <laughs> Spray painted blue. Yeah, right? yeah. Spray paint <laughs> a, a fishbowl. You know. A fishbowl. Um, um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's. <laughs> sorry, we've we digressed. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what we were talking about. Um, this is fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's an absolutely oh, gorgeous whiskey. I'm but yeah, the way that it's intended is... The way that... I, I personally actually do like to... And I do encourage people to like experiment a little bit. Like I sure. like to cu- drink your whiskey couple, the way you want. Yeah, you know, if, if you like a couple drops of water in it or whatever, fine. Mm-hmm. That's I think that's one thing Trenny and C is always kind of promoted is like... To step away from the whiskey snobbery of the past. And if you like a whiskey with ice cubes... Do it. If you like it with water, do it. Yeah. If you, you want know, to mix if, it, if do it's it. something yeah. you enjoy. Hey, I always say enjoy a whiskey. Yeah. I mean, my, myself, as I live in Windsor, Ontario, which is very hot and humid in the summer, and I will sit beside a pool and drink a whiskey with ginger ale. I'm not ashamed mm-hmm. to say that. Oh, of course. Because that's yeah. the occasion. We'll cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the occasion, though, so right? Good. What is what is the occasion, right? Yeah. And I find For things sure. I have a little more rye in it. I like an ice cube. The things with a little less rye. Not so much. Yeah. And this is... Okay, what did this win? It won, won a silver at the Kenny Whiskey Awards. Oh, God. <laughs> They're way off this year. Yeah. Okay, that's another trendy... <laughs> and <laughs> see... There's, one right There's so much gold. <laughs> There's so much gold. <laughs> the gold. Yeah, gold. wins double gold. <laughs> double, double gold. Okay, anyway, cheers I, to that. I genuinely, genuinely think, to though, that. this is, for me, one of my... Uh, and I think out of all whiskeys, a lot like, of I'm people scotch and everything, one online... Of line. Yeah. I've said best Canadian whiskey ever. Like of all time. Yeah. That's yeah, that's crazy. Cool. Mm. It's delicious stuff. Okay. All right. Okay, okay so it. we we are now moving on to the Canadian whiskey of the year. Wow. Yes, this is like the is Stanley it, Cup. Is this 2020 or 2019 whiskey? Uh, what do they consider it? Is it, uh, is it written on the metal? No, no they, they don't, don't have a year, but we're, we are in 2020, but you produced it in 2019. Would, so. I would suspect 2019, okay. right? Because it was made in 2019, although it's still it available. Says, you know what? It says 2020 on the awards. They're all Canadian whiskey. Okay. 2020. Okay, you well, Canadian whiskey 2020. We're going to, it's, a, it's the Let's 2020 Canadian you know whiskey of the year. We occasionally get these, but they just say participation. Yeah, that's. <laughs> All right, so, so this is the gold. Can we'll everyone have to wear a gold right now? <laughs> yeah. You don't deserve. Everybody it, gets wear. a medal. Everyone yeah. wear a gold. Let's all put one on. There you go. Yeah, yeah. everybody gets yeah. a medal. You've got is, plenty is to the go way? around. Isn't that the way everybody gets a medal? <laughs> yeah, everyone participates. <laughs> yeah. Everyone doesn't always get a gold though. But okay, here we go. There we oh, go. Nice. Beauty. Oh. There we go. Um, so tell us a little bit about this one. Hike Creek Twenty One Oloroso. Doctor. Oh, this one surprised me. I I actually always one. figured that the Canadian Whiskey Awards, the things with a little bit more rye, will end up getting a. Oh, hold on, hold on. What did you do? This is. This is very embarrassing for us. We're very smart. We're very professional usually. <laughs> you need more tape. That'll hold up the next half hour. <laughs> you need something of weight just hanging on, that, on the edge of this. I can just like sit on the ground here and like. <laughs> What's that shine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. we'll I, I, need a, I need a hat. I need some hourly wage for that. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, geez, oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Look, you guys, well done. Well done. We're gold. <laughs> Now gold. I lost our train of thought. So I think what we were going <laughs> to try, try to say you know was what we start again. Sometimes it's even better when you don't cut it. You know, you just yeah, we're show just the whole yeah, yeah, discombobulation, yeah. and people are we like, "We got a whole okay. production crew here helping yeah, us with the, the light, crew. the sound yeah. crew, the lighting crew." See, see well, the glare. Well, yeah. you have a crew. We <laughs> we really have nothing. Well, <laughs> you come with a crew. We, we borrowed nothing. these glasses from my parents. <laughs> <laughs> um, exactly. We were talking about 
what's the, what's the deal what's with the a deal? Pike Creek 21 year old 2020 whiskey of the year Canadian whiskey of the this year. one surprised me like no, no. yes I remember where we left off we uh, uh, this one surprised me as the Canadian whiskey of the year because traditionally the ones with the higher rye tend up uh, right. winning uh, a lot right um, this is a 21 year old uh, after uh, about 20 years of aging we put it into an um, French old cast that had been seasoned with Oloroso sherry oh wow Oh, whoa. This is just wow. absolutely delicious. This well, is dessert in a bottle. Well, it's funny because last year's version yes. oh, it had a little bit more of it. It smelt a little bit more of that new oak. Ah, yeah. And, and yes, this has an upfront sweet. You're, you're looking for it. I think it had the French oak and the Hungarian yeah, oak. European oak. European yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so we switched it up and I think, I think naturally Pike right behind you. Sorry. Yeah, you have grab. I mean, naturally, I think Pike Creek does well in those wine barrels, and I think it brings mm. out that nice dry fruit. Uh, typical the Oloroso. I'm not sure if there's any other Canadian whiskeys out there that have finished an Oloroso. Oh, man, that's um, great. Mm. But this, I think, goes well hand in hand with the Canadian whiskey category for sure. So, there's a richness to this. You have a top one. six. You said this isn't my top six. This isn't it. This isn't my top. Okay. Six. Although, wait till you see the next year's. Oh really? Oh. So you, you're well oh, wow. ahead of the game already. Oh yeah. Already I, 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 I'm really thinking thinking ahead of the game. Yeah. This one's is just like I guess you have to. Like fantastic. <laughs> Delicious. Well, he does for a living. Now one of the things, one of the things I want to show you. Sure. In in spirit of what we're doing, let me show you. Sure. My socks <laughs> oh, match the song. Canadian whiskey. Oh look yes, at that! They do. they do. Level here. Uh, this is right from Canada. Championship and wow. Canadian whiskey of the year matches that. Can we get it like this on Instagram right here? <laughs> Can we zoom that in? I, I, I don't know, but uh, Doctor Don will be auctioning off these socks. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> autograph <laughs> and sign these socks tonight. How much do you think I could get for these socks? I oh, only paid about twenty five cents called, for it. That's called game game, 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 worn, game used. Yeah. Game used socks. Yeah. It will go in the Canadian whiskey Hall of Fame, <laughs> or what? Right. That's great. Is this the Canadian Whiskey Hall of Fame? This is it. Right there, yeah. <laughs> That's most of it right there. Well, it's kind of accurate because it's mainly just Corby's and <laughs> yeah. Blazers. Uh, most of your stuff. Yeah. So, double goal, triple goal, Canadian Whiskey of the Year. Oh, this wow. one is so, just absolutely Finished in European oak cask, 45% alcohol. That's Let's the, not forget, 21 that, years old. That's the other one. Oh, sorry. But it's, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's the same uh, age statement, sorry. Wait, finished in Oloroso Sherry Cask. Um... I think uh, Colin was telling me all of the information about the it's knot. Yeah. Maybe you can come and. Uh, co oh yeah, there's no knot. Interject in here. <laughs> into this video and uh, Colin McDougall, uh, Western Canadian ambassador. Let's, let's for, slide over for Colin here. Let's talk about the knot. Like We're, the <laughs> the, yeah, the knot is missing, but tell us uh, the benefit of the missing knot. Yeah, so well, well, the Miller's knot is. I mean, Don could probably. Tell it better than I. All I really do is repeat what Don tells me. So it seems <laughs> Same with us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Miller's not being on there. Uh, it was just like, it was a decision, I think, with the brand team. Um, interject here, Don, at any point. Uh, but, you know, like ha having that on there, um, most people, uh, it costs a certain amount of money and taking it off, we can offer it for less, right? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And it gets people it makes to buy sense, right? Like, I mean, I guess the, the knot is identifiable, but without it, it's still a delicious whiskey. It's still a delicious yeah. whiskey. Nothing changes in the, in the bottle. Uh, uh, and hence winning Canadian Whiskey of the Year. And the, one of the things I like about the Canadian Whiskey Awards... Uh, thanks, Colin. Uh, it, the one thing I like about the oh, Canadian Whiskey Awards, and if you, if you guys are unaware of it, it oh. is independent judging. We are aware of it because of our good friend, Davin de Carino. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. yeah, it's one of the rare awards around the world that will send out samples blind. They grade them all. Uh, he goes through all the data. Legitimately, it is independent. It's mm -hmm. original bias to what he's doing. Uh, and he likes like he he loves that theory, and I and I, I think it's the right way to do the game. It's, a, it's a really good way to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a good way to do it. Yeah, yeah. And he changes the judges up every year. That's why I kind of made the comment while I was assuming that something with high rise is going to win. This year, the set of judges probably went more to the traditional wisery, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to call it style. We do. Whiskey. They what they want that more <laughs> that smooth style, and I think that's great. It comes back to the diversity of Canadian whiskey that we always talk about. Gavin Which loosely honestly, promised us the ability to be judges next year. So loosely, loosely. Well, he we, said, oh, "I'll get back to you on that." So I think that's saying that we're. Going I think to we're in. in. I think so each year, said, "I'll get back to you." 
I think he said one of you can come. <laughs> so you're half a vote? Yeah, you're yeah half a vote. Much, yeah. Yeah, no, so. you're three quarters. Yeah. yeah. Quarter. yeah. Something like that. That's yeah. pretty close to it. It's cheers, guys. You gotta cheers. toast this. This is oh, Canadian man. Whiskey of the Year. Oh, man. Canadian so Whiskey good. of the Year. The nose is amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Right. What's the percentage on here? It's, 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 I, 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 right. Start like one with a not. Yeah. <laughs> Let me put this away so you don't look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That forty-five percent ABV. That's, that is that's, that's the same as the other one. Sweet we wanted it. But that is spot. honestly perfect. There's the caramels and the toffees and a little bit of that kind of like I call it wet wood. There's yeah. like a like a mustiness to but it. But it's, yeah. it's the richness that comes from the oil. Yeah, so that age. Mmm. Ah, oh, that's delicious. Absolutely gorgeous. But it is, you're, you kind of mentioned earlier, it's a bit of a, like a dessert style. And it, to, to me, this reminds me of something that you'd have like after dinner. Yeah. In a whiskey. Come on, put your velvet jacket on. Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> that's what I do for my dessert usually. He's always dinner. in a velvet jacket <laughs> after dinner. <laughs> you need that big, jacket. you almost want that big cognac kind of style. Oh, sure. Mm. Or something with, the, with this one. But you that know what, really like nice. the the finish is swift and like it, it makes you kind of want to go back for more. Again, right? Moorish. More ish. Very Moorish. Sessionable. Yeah. Sessionable. 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 Crushable. Crushable. And, and for all Pick four of these, there are limited release and they have 300 cases spread across Canada except for a little bit of here. We so you cannot them. crush them. Yeah. <laughs> Savor yeah. them. They may be crushable, but yeah. don't. Yeah. And Resist the urge. And very, very affordable in comparison to. Uh, other whiskeys of the same ages. Well, well that's, that's actually a, a really good point because there's, huge you know, point. how often can you point. can you buy a 21 year old whiskey that costs? Compare that to Scotch 80, 90, or bourbon. All depends yeah. where you are in Canada. Compare that yeah. to Scotch yeah. or bourbon. I mean, it almost doesn't exist in bourbon, but like compare that to Scotch. I mean, you oh, are now you into the that multi in the hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Multi. Yeah. I mean, and we've said that for actually a few years now. Like, like why is there 35? Yeah, for example, yeah. thirty-five-year-old whiskey at that price was insane. Yeah, I mean, twenty-three-year-old whiskey at this price is insane when you really can consider it. Right? Like, we got to stop selling ourselves short as Canadian whiskey producers. Mm -hmm. We make great quality stuff here. Canadians are always like that. We we always apologize for what we're doing. We should never apologize for our whiskey. It's in our nature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, Actually, continue to sell yourself short. <laughs> what was lower the, lower okay. the prices. What was, I'm seeing it from the other end, I guess. But what was that saying? Like when Canada, when Canada, okay take, with it. When Canada <laughs> takes fine. over the world, you'll all be sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I love it. Oh, um, man, I love a, it, eh? What a great, what a great lineup, though. Like you, you've really created like this. Uh, this vast range that are all just very yeah, high end and yeah. affordable. Yeah, I love playing with these every year uh, and, and doing these whiskeys uh, for our consumers and it's fantastic. We, we've been big advocates in saying, because there's still a lot of people out there that are really stuck, I shouldn't say stuck, but really into scotch and mm -hmm. bourbon and things like that and kind of have them on this pedestal where we've been really advocating the idea that the quality of Canadian whiskey is getting better and better. Yeah. Um, it's affordable and it's so different in the mm -hmm. range of mm -hmm. what you can do as like a producer or a blender or a distiller is you can make it's, a it's, single it's, malt with barley and make it taste like a scotch. Yeah. Oh, totally. You know, you yeah. can, yeah. Yeah. Like you said, you can do a, There's, a bourbon style. Uh, so are you whiskey. challenging me to do a single malt? Yes. Yes, I did. I just <laughs> did. Here I'm turning to see... <laughs> Charles, that was it. Single that was it. This is the, the turning point. <laughs> I, I, yeah, we can. We yeah, can. And I, right? I do have 100% single malt sitting in casks right now. There you mm. go. Both rye casks? and barley. Both rye and barley. Cool. Does that make it the Trenny and Z small batch? <laughs> <I think that's, laughs> if we mention it enough times, it makes it true. <laughs> do we get royalties? Uh, well, we'll talk, you we'll talk, you talk, we'll talk to your people. <laughs> yeah, we'll get our lawyers to. <laughs> we don't have lawyers. <laughs> I'll get my mom to call you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Yeah, it's cheers. Been awesome. It's been a pleasure, guys. Uh, great time. Our annual... Uh, Don't forget me. Whiskey. Sure. Yes, that's right. Cheers. <laughs> All right. Click like, subscribe, and uh, we will be back every Thursday and Saturday and definitely next year with Dr. Don. He hasn't approved that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cheers. Yeah, yeah, cheers. <laughs> Describing all the flavors for you and me. 
Irish scotch, bourbon and rye. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Subscribe on YouTube.